Holding the line in Los Angeles proved difficult. Amidst a wave of protest that has swept across America, it was here police officers fired non-lethal rounds at demonstrators. The LAPD said they had been attacked with missiles. At one point, a group got onto one of LA's main motorways, causing traffic chaos. But the biggest demonstrations flowed through New York. At one point, they effectively closed off Times Square. We, the jury, find George Zimmerman not guilty. The catalyst for all this was a jury in Florida deciding that Neighborhood Watch volunteer George Zimmerman was acting in self-defense when he shot an unarmed teenager, Trayvon Martin. We start with a Fox News alert. George Zimmerman found not guilty. Not guilty. Not guilty. George Zimmerman is a free man this morning. The latest American show trial dominated the U.S. networks, part reality TV, part soap opera. Inside Ben's Chili Bowl in Washington, D.C., their famous hot dogs have been served through race riots and moments of national crisis. Again, they see protests outside. I don't think we should continue to publicize these trials to this extent. I don't believe we should have cameras inside these courtrooms. The way this trial has been portrayed in the media, you don't understand the truth and the public doesn't get the truth because of the racial tensions and the way it has been racially profiled. The president and his family eat free when they come here. He's called for calm reflection. President Obama has said that the death of Trayvon Martin was a tragedy for his family, but also for America. He conceded that passions are running high, but reminded people that a jury has spoken. The case will be reviewed, but right now George Zimmerman is free. The laws in Florida mean his gun will be handed back to him. Many of America's problems of old are wrapped up in the protests of today.